Welcome back, my little Goomba Maniacs. We are here with Phasmophobia again. No, so one thing about me and my own personal life. I am an engineer, so I tend to overanalyze things in a good way. I tend to pick things apart, see how they work, uh, make things more efficient, see how things can be done better. So that applies here, um, and the reason why I'm saying this. For instance, Phasmophobia. I looked over the last video that I made, and I saw a couple things um, that I could do differently. Right, And the first one was... Uh, if you watch the video, I decided that the kitchen was the ghost room uh, in my haste because I knew I only had a two minute uh, setup timer and I didn't want the ghost, you know, hunting me right away. Um, and I saw that there was a temperature of around eight degrees. Now, I knew that it wasn't the rest of the house because I went around and looked and everything was rising up to about 20. But what I should have realized is that eight degrees, and I even said it during the video, that's not very cold for a ghost room. What I should have done was check the adjacent rooms, in which case, at Edgefield, that's the bathroom and the laundry room. I should have checked both of those to see if the temperature was there. And I would have seen that the bathroom was indeed the ghost room. So that tells me uh, something that to file away in my brain. That when I see a temperature that doesn't seem quite right as far as a ghost room, check an ad adjacent connected room. In which case, like I said, that's the bathroom and I would have found it right away. I wouldn't have wasted the salt. I would have got some extra pictures. And I would have made level 16. As you can see, we're uh, we're at level 15, only 26 points away. How frustrating is that? If I had gotten those pictures of the salt, we would have been level 16. I would have had Xanity medication already. Uh, so the second thing had to do with the ghost itself. Uh, the ghost wound up, you know, spoiler alert, the ghost wound up being a Maroi. And it was really tough. Because I had it down to, I thought it was either a Shade or... I'd have to look back. I think it was Onryo. I didn't have Maroi in, in my my radar because it didn't seem like anything based on the evidence I was given. But I did a little research, and I've told you before, I don't like to cheat. I don't like to go to cheat seat sites and, and just find all the answers. That's There's no fun in that. There's no discovery in that. No challenge. All I did was found a quick write-up about some of the things you have to do to find a Maroi, and they're not evidence-based. They're circumstantial evidence, what I call HCI. Hunt-based circumstantial evidence, right? That's things that you can't check off in a book, but you know based on certain things that happen that this is, could be that type of ghost. One of them was uh, Rapid Drop Insanity. Well, it never hunted me because, you know, that's the way I hunt. That's the way I investigate. Uh, I don't let the ghost hunt me that much. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, also, I do everything solo, so a ghost hunting me solo is not the greatest thing for survivability. So, the other thing for Maroi is also based on the hunt is listen to the speed. They get faster for each success, each successive hunt. Right, so that means I would have had to have the Maroi, or that ghost, had I known what it was a Maroi, hunt me twice in a row to see if the speed increased. So really, besides that, or getting the three pieces of evidence, which it was just not giving up evidence. It only gave up freezing attempts, and that was it. So, and again, filing that away in my brain, uh, I'll just have to suck it up next time and let the ghost hunt and see if uh, I can find that HCI that I talk about. All right, let's go. Edgefield Road, difficulty intermediate. We're gonna get level 16. All I do is need to do is get basically one picture, right? I don't even need to get the ghost right this time. I just get the one picture and we will have enough points to get to get to level 16 or get an objective, one of the two. So let's go. Okay, here we are. Number 67, regularly Shalen, Scalen, sure. Okay, first off, he's always saying the same thing lately. Capture a photo of the ghost. Find evidence of EMF. This could be really easy. If we get any tick on the EMF, we're going to get that one, and that'll give us level 16. And uh, witness a ghost event. Same deal. If there's an event, I get the points for that. So along, uh, that, along with photos, hopefully get the right ghost room, I get salt. We could be well into 16 and on our way to 17. So here we go. Let's uh, let's start up. And welcome to the channel, folks. If it's your first video with me, there's a lot of stuff out there you've missed. Uh, check it all out. It's fun stuff. I play Phasmophobia a lot. Uh, I also play... Ooh, it's raining out there. Garage Circuit Breaker. Uh, I play all kind of different games. Uh, been narrowing it down lately. I'm going to turn that off for a moment. I've been narrowing it down lately because, uh, as I've documented well enough, the YouTube algorithm is not my friend. Sorry to say that. Uh, it's against small-time channels like myself. But, you want to hear more about that? Look into another video of mine. I won't sit here and pontificate about it. 
Right, so here we go. We're starting off the same way. It's only eight degrees in here. That's not cold enough for a ghost room. It is not warmed up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and start searching around. Ooh, I don't like it when it's raining outside. Uh, looking around for a bone. Mm -hmm. Not there. Ooh, where are you opening doors? Hey, I have not found it yet. It sounded like it was in here somewhere. Maybe the bathroom or the laundry room? No, that door is closed. Uh, we got another kitchen ghost. This one actually is a kitchen ghost. So you notice the temperature is dropping below five. So this is the ghost room. <laughs> We're not going to make the same mistake twice. Uh, I mean, I probably will. Uh, there's a ghost event. Hey, good for me. Where are you at? If I had a camera, I could take a picture of you, but I know you're not hunting because the door is open. Where are you? Ghost. Oh, there you are. Man, why why, why does he do that when I don't have a camera? You know, thanks, George. Uh-huh. All right. That was pretty cool. I got to tell you, the first few videos I ever did, if that would have happened, I would have soiled myself. All right, so we got the ghost event. Good for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the salt because we know 100% that it's a ghost room. I know what you're saying. Maybe the ghost moved. Not on intermediate. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, wow, it's dark in here. Oof. Hey. Hey. I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit because I talked a little bit uh, too much at the top there. I apologize for that. I had to at least get that out, you know, some of my thinking. Okay. Really cold breath in here. I sort of got to think that that's freezing temps, but we'll see here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the camera right there. Lights back on, get some dots, turn them on, drop it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, what do we got? Uh, crucifix, turn the light out. Go ahead and do your worst, ghosty. Okay, so what I've been doing lately? Yep, that. Alright, so we got dots and orb coverage all in that room. And I, I like the kitchen because it's so huge. Real easy to get a good spread on the dots. Real easy to check out. Uh, oh, I saw dots. Yep. See them right there walking through? All right. So, let's see. Dots projector. So, it could be a DO gen, I think, because they're the ones that walk through. So, I need to go in and actually see the ghost walking through the dots in order to rule out DO gen. Uh, if I had had a camera, I could have taken a picture of the dots and gotten the evidence for the photo. Uh, all right. Mm, you know, Mimic's still on the table. I don't see orbs yet. We're going to go ahead and continue on with our investigation. Get some ultraviolet, some EMF, and that. i turn the lights on. I'm dark in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I absolutely hate. I'll be in the middle of a video, and it's probably a really good one, I feel, which I feel is like premium content, premium comedy, doing well, and I'll look down at my recording software, and it's not turned on. <laughs> I mean, that's... that hurts. <laughs> Hello, ghost. I saw you before. Are you in here? What's your name? Where are you? Can you talk to me? Hello, George. George, can you talk to me? George Scalin. George Shalin. How do you pronounce your last name? Hello, Ghosty. Ghosty, this is Vito. I want to talk to you, buddy. You're throwing stuff. That's not nice. Okay, nothing there. Ah, let's turn the light back up. So, obviously, the countdown timer is off, and it's done. Uh, he's going to hunt me. So, we got two check marks already. So, we're, we are heading for level 16. 100%. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the camera. Right, and uh, take some pictures of some stuff. Hopefully I'll get a picture of the ghost. 
That'll get me all three objectives. Try to get as close to a perfect game as possible. Yeah, don't see any orbs yet. So, we already know he walked through the dots. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, should I bring the incense? Just in case he hunts. I probably should, right? That's the smart thing. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a picture of that thing in the, in the dots. We're also going to take a look at the... Uh, vault. We got it. I wonder if I'll get credit for that cup being right there. Who knows? Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. So we need to get a photo of the ghost. Come on, walk through the dots. I want your photo. You did it before, you can do it again. I, mean, I would say we have freezing temps, but uh, we'll see here in a second. <laughs> Do not like that. You know, the instant I stand up and turn around and do whatever, turn the light on, Ghost is going to walk through the dots. You watch it. All right, so... Ah, did he do it? Nope. Now we're going to drop that right there. I'm going to check this. Oh, we got freezing temps for sure. Uh, let's head out of here for a moment and get my uh, head together. And once again, welcome to the channel, folks. If you haven't watched my stuff before, um, check it out. A lot of good stuff, I think. I try to make people laugh. Uh, I really don't worry too much about anything as far as making this a business. It's not a business for me. Even if I got... Oh, he turned the lights out. Uh, even if it was a business, I, I, I... No, I... Obviously, I don't have the subscribers for it, but... Uh, Yuria Oni and Mimic. All right? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mimic can't do dots. For once, I ruled out the Mimic. Goodbye, jerk face. So you're and Oni. Uh, as I was saying real quick, uh, yeah, it's not a business for me. Even if I had the subscriber count to do it, I don't care. I don't need the money. This is for fun. And I forgot what goes they were already. You're Oni. Oni, often seen in physical form. Right, so we saw him. More active when we're nearby. Uh, drain sanity faster. Disappear less often while hunting their prey. Okay, so... Uh, doesn't really help me. You're Stronger effect on sanity, and smudging it will trap it temporarily, reducing how much it wanders. Doesn't really help on a difficulty level where the ghost doesn't wander. So, again, this is going to be, uh, let's see, orbs or EMF 5. So I need to keep that EMF reader on hand. Alright, we've already got the EMF there, but we need to get a photo of the ghost. Uh, we're looking good right now. We're looking really good. We got Disturb Salt, Disturb Salt, 4-4, four, four, 6, Disturb Salt. Okay, I didn't get any credit for the cup there because I probably didn't see it in time. So we still need to get the bone. May do a quick run through the house and probably die. So what did we say we're looking for? Uh, orbs, which we have not seen. Probably I'm leaning towards Oni right now. EMF level 5. So I'm going to go ahead and circle Oni in case uh, I meet my demise next time I go in here. Nice knowing you. I got a smudge on me. Oh, and he did turn the lights out, too. Ooh. Luckily, I know where the circuit breaker is. But, wait a minute. Or do I know where the circuit breaker is? I thought I... Okay, I was going the wrong way. <laughs> Gotta love that. Wink. Alright. Uh, no, they took away my favorite hiding spot. Um... Where else can I hide? Uh, maybe I should go up and look for... Uh, okay, yeah. I only have uh, one pair of hands. Uh, it's not good that... Alright, so what we're going to do... We are going to drop that. Uh, going to get the camera. Just in case I find the bone. Uh, you turn the water on. I'm turning it back off. How do you like that? Um, I really just want to get a picture of this ghost. The camera did not work. Can you believe that? Can you believe the camera did not work? Oh, I did get it. Did I get the picture of the ghost? Oh, yes. Okay. So... Drop that. 
Uh, oh, we got EMF. Come on, give me a five. Give me a five and I can... S five. I'm out of here. We have ourselves... A ghosty! Yes! EMF level five. Hello, Mr. Oni. Nice to meet ya. Gotcha! If this is wrong, I'll be really ticked off. Yeah, there we go, Oni. I got a badge for that. Nice. Nice. Rewards times two. Nice. Did not get the bone. Photos. What was that? Cover the ghost type. Capture a three star. We got our sanity. And look at that. Yeah, like I said, nice. Nice. We are three quarters of the way to level 17. Just in one shot. Uh, let's do another one really quick. Yeah, that was a quick one. That was a slam dunk, for sure. Number 68, Shelly Kemper. Firelight, EMF, Crucifix. Very doable. Except, man, the, the ghosts just don't like hunting me for some reason. That sure feels fortunate, right? <laughs> Knock on wood. Because you know what'll happen when I say something like that. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, it's in the garage. Firelight, EMF, Crucifix. So that was a really quick hunt. I was really happy about that. Ghost was very cooperative. Thank you, ghosts. I thought for sure, though, uh, I did not get the camera to snap. <laughs> it was really... I was like, uh, this is going to be the one time I, I was easily going to capture the uh, photo of the ghost and the camera wasn't working. Yeah, I don't think we're here. That's still sticking right around at 8. This one's going to be upstairs, buried way in the last room somewhere. You watch. Not there. If you're wondering why I'm hurrying so much, uh, there's a two minute countdown timer. I'm a solo guy, so I have very limited time to find the ghost room before I put myself in mortal danger. Ooh, Ouija board. I take a picture of that, right? Even if I don't use it, I can take a picture of it and get points for it, I think. Uh, nothing downstairs. Uh, I'll check the uh, death room. I mean the basement soon. Just looking for that temperature to dip a little bit more. It's not here. That upstairs. Uh, 10 degrees. Oh, I saw that. Are you in here? I think this will be the first time I've had a ghost in the baby room. I mean, that's kind of sad. Oh yeah, freezing breath. Mm -hmm. All right, head on down. Did I make it within two minutes? Oh, it took me exactly two minutes to get all that done. Woo! That's not good news though. That means that ghost is primed and ready to get me. Yes. One of my objectives. Bruce Fix. Nothing there. I'm going to drop that just for a minute. Turn on the dots. Um, maybe right there. Yeah, that, that'll work. So this is what I've told you before. Because I'm solo, look how long it takes me to do things. I mean, it took me two minutes just to find the ghost room. Whereas if I had a partner or two, things would go a lot quicker. Not that I'm hinting around, but uh, anyone wants to partner with me. Misery loves company. Mm -hmm. Right there. Hopefully, I got a good, uh, good angle on that. Uh, we got ourselves some footy prints. Hello, Mr. Ghost. 
I'm standing in the dots. You want me to do some shadow puppets? Hello, ghost. Where are you? What's your name? You're Shelly something, right? Hello, Shelly. Are you there? Would you like to talk to me? I'm Vito. I'm a nice guy. I mean you no harm. I mean, how can I harm you anyway? You're a ghost. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Oh, no, turn the light back off, Vito. Don't be stupid. We got a spirit box. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, nothing to nothing to report yet. Let's take a look at the dot and orb action here. That's a nice spread. Come on, give me props. Mm, no orbs yet, which is unusual because orbs is usually a common piece of evidence. Uh, I was seeing a lot of freezing breaths. So I need to check out the thermometer when I get up there. I think wasn't one of them firelight. I need to bring the candle up there. Nothing to report on that front. Okay, so what else we have? Um, firelight, EMF, crucifix. I have the crucifix and the EMF up there. Um, let's go ahead and grab ourselves that, and that, and that. Oh, it turned the light out, didn't it? Not sure if gin is on the table, but it is no longer. Thank you, Candle. so close on temperature. Okay, let me get out of here for a minute. Uh, turn the light back out. Ooh, flicking lights. Oh, got out of there. Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll automatically get the firelight if it happens. We'll get EMF if that happens. And if it burns the crucifix, we'll get at that. So we can see the candle in there. Nice placement, Vito. Learning your lessons. Still no orbs. Um, cannot be a, a wraith because we have footprints. Uh, Poltergeist is on the table. It threw something at me. Threw something else. Do you see that? Yep. Oh, it's picking up the bear. They tried to pick up the bear. This is a poltergeist. Uh, poltergeist is what? Ghost riding. Freezing temps. And something else. Oh, oh, look at that. It's throwing all kind of stuff. This is a poltergeist. Oh, let's see what else a poltergeist needs. Uh, spirit box. Ultraviolet. Ghost writing. So ultraviolet is what I need. And there goes the light. Yes. I've got a crucifix in there. I can get that third piece of evidence. Uh, how are we looking on, on photos here? Interaction. Yes. Three. Six to serve salts. Another interaction. We got room for two more pictures. Um, if it burns a crucifix, I can get that. Oh, what did I say I need? I need um, ultraviolet. It has opened that door. Do I dare? Uh, bring a smudge. Oh, oh, I've already got the thing. Okay, Woo. it's like no, I'm out of matches. Uh, there's no way this isn't a poltergeist. Did you just see that? This is a poltergeist. It's throwing everything around. What else could it be? I'm gonna sit here and watch for dots and orbs, just in case. Oh, come on, Vito. Why would you leave the light on? Oh, risking my health here. Hurry up the stairs. Hurry up, get up there. Shut the light out. Hurry up. 
Hurry up. Oh, blinking lights. Nope. Not good. Not good. Not good. Get out. Get out. Ooh, woo. All right. Oh. Okay, here we go. We're looking for some final evidence to prove that it's not a poltergeist, because I believe this is a poltergeist. So if I get dots or orbs, it's not. And I will be totally embarrassed. Spirit? What's a spirit do? Defend their place of death? Oh, oh, I guess so. Tip early stop by burning incense. Okay, EMF 5. I should have looked at the EMF while I was in there. But I heard it going off. Oh, Vito. Oh. Uh, I've got Poltergeist circled, right? Because I feel like I'm going to die here. I've got the incense. Maybe I'll be all right. Oh, blinking lights again. Come on. Five EMF. It's not a poltergeist. Oh. Oh. Twins or spirit? How would I know it's twins? Okay, so what I'm looking at here, twins, freezing temps. If it's freezing in there, we have twins. I have not seen ghost writing. Okay, I'm gonna die. You realize, folks, I'm gonna die, right? Watch. Lights are gonna blink as soon as I come in. That ghost is gonna hunt me. Yep, here it goes. Oh, one degree. Are you kidding me? You're teasing me, ghosty. I mean, look at that activity. He wants me bad. She does. Oh, she wants me. Hey, all right. Let's talk about that. Okay, so can this be dots? No. Can this be orbs? No. Can this be mimic? Oh, yes, it can. Spirit box, freezing temperatures. Ah, uh, here we go again. Something inside me tells me that this is a mimic pretending to be... This is a mimic pretending to be a poltergeist. I need to find something to prove that it's not a mimic. Dots would do it. An orb would just solidify it. Right? If I got an orb, it would be a mimic. 100%. How stingy is this ghost going to be? I mean, it's throwing so much stuff around. My gut tells me poltergeist, or mimic, pretending to be poltergeist. We're going to sit here and watch for a little bit more. That flashlight is sure throwing a lot of light in there, isn't it? I know. It's like watching uh, drying paint, you know? But if that's the difference between me living and dying, I'm going to watch that paint dry. You know what I'm saying? Come on, orbs. Uh, I'm going to be so mad if I pick mimic out of my gut feeling that it's a mimic pretending to be poltergeist. And it turns out to be twins. Mm, 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 mm. What do we say twins would need to be? What's spirit now? Ghostwriting. Freezing temps. Did I get spirit box? I did, didn't I? Yeah, spirit box. Ultraviolet is mimic. EMF is twins. We got that already. So freezing temp, ultraviolet, or ghostwriting. But... Mimic is also freezing temps. Come on! Mimic is playing with me again. Oh, there it is. It's picking a... This, this is a poltergeist. I'm sorry. I, I know you're probably pulling your hair out. Saying, Vito, you gotta go back in and let it hunt. No, this is a poltergeist. Alright, it's, it's a mimic. 100% mimic. <laughs> I got it wrong. It was a spirit. <sighs> well, it was the one that I didn't think it was. Spirit. I would have known otherwise. Um, we needed that third piece of evidence, we just couldn't get it. Ah, the way it was throwing stuff around. I mean, is that a spirit thing? Maybe I need to research that. It sure seemed like a mimic being a poltergeist, but the lack of dots or lack of orbs should have told me that it was not mimic. All right, folks. So we had fun here today. We got one right, uh, really quick hunt. Uh, we got one wrong. All right, so it is what it is. We got our first hand last episode. Nice, huh? Did not find a bone this time because I was too busy trying not to die. But we're getting there. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, 
you know, likey, subscribey. That's going to do it, folks. As usual, you stay safe. Whoa, you know it. The hand bone is connected to the arm bone.